Hey guys, how you guys doing? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Stardew Fishing. And I'm gonna give you guys seven really cool tips, tricks, suggestions, and advice on how to become the best fisherman Willie's ever seen. Number one. The fishing rods in the Stardew Valley don't actually make any difference to the meter in the fishing minigame. The first rod that you get is the bamboo rod from Willy, which you get on the second day. You have to get the trigger from the mailbox. Once you go down there, he talks about how you know, basically his fish, new fishing rod's way better than the old one, and he gives you this garbage, terrible bamboo fishing rod, which is nice because it's better than nothing. With that said, it doesn't have any slots on it, uh, unlike the fiberglass rod or the iridium rod, which actually empowers the fishing rod to make the game actually easier so there's really no benefit to using the bamboo rod especially now that the training rod exists and the training rod you can actually get i believe at fishing zero right at the beginning of the game that is a super super helpful fishing rod essentially what it does it pushes your fishing skill to level five and every time you get a skill in fishing it increases your fishing bar so when you have the training rod equipped you're basically at level five even though you're at zero if that makes sense the downside is you can only catch normal fish, and it limits the kinds that you can get as well. And what I mean by normal fish is that you can't get silver quality, you can't get gold quality, you can't get iridium quality. The next rod, the fiberglass rod, is a step up from bamboo. Not necessarily the training rod, but it does allow for you to use bait. What bait does in Stardew is that it increases your bite chance, meaning you catch more fish in a smaller window of time, which is super nice, not really game changing, but it helps you level your fishing faster because you catch more stuff quicker and then you know more XP means your fishing skill goes up, which in turn makes fishing bar level goes up, cast range go up, and also the fishing level. But the most important thing about fishing rods is the fact that the iridium rod is the actual game changer. That is the holy grail of fishing. It's so good and it makes fishing incredibly easy only because it allows for bobbers. Bobbers is the biggest game changer here. Aside from that, bait allows you to catch fish faster, but it's not necessarily super important. The only downside for iridium, the iridium rod is that it's kind of expensive and you have to be level six fishing to get it. So you do have to fish a little bit before it becomes easier. Number two, bobbers are really game changing for fishing. They can make it super, super easy to catch pretty much every fish in the game. Legend, crimson fish, the glacial fish, harp. It makes every fish in the game incredibly easy with the right setup. So the first one is spinner. All the spinner does is when you put it on your iridium rod, it just increases the bite rate. It's pretty nice. It's better than nothing. If you have one, throw it on there. Pretty cool. And then there's the lead bobber. The lead bobber is also super nice because what it does is it stops the green bar from bouncing. So if you're having trouble uh, controlling the green bar and the fish, you know, is wiggly and likes to go up and likes to go down and then all around and it drops to the bottom and you're trying to catch it and the bar jumps down to the bottom and you're having a really hard time alleviating it. And all it does is when you try to catch the fish, it bounces straight back up. The lead bobber could be really good in this situation. I don't personally like it, but it still has its uses. There's also the treasure hunter. This one is kind of a little niche, but it is nice because the treasure hunter stops the regression bar while you're collecting treasure. It does have its downsides though, because if you don't get any treasure, then you're kind of wasting the charge on the treasure hunter bobber. That's a mouthful. Treasure hunter bobber. The next bobber is the barb hook. It's kind of a weird bobber and I never really used it except a few times mostly just to test it out. What it basically does is when you put it on your iridium rod, it basically follows the fish for you, which is good because it makes it really easy, but I literally used it earlier and I tried to move my green meter in the fishing mini game and it literally wouldn't let me do it. It was very odd, but I can definitely see it being good if you need to catch like weaker fish. I haven't tried it on anything, anything more difficult, but I don't see it being very good when it tries to follow those fish that jump like crazy. Catfish, legend, sturgeon, like I don't, I don't see it being very good for them. Now the two best bobbers in the game are the trap bobber and the cork. My favorite is the trap bobber. I would highly recommend it because what the trap bobber does, it makes you able to catch any fish while being super lazy. What I mean by that is that when you combine the trap bobber with food and you like extend your bar and it's really big because your fishing is like plus 14 with like dish of the sea. When you use the trap bobber, essentially what it does is it makes the game go from difficult to just easy mode. 
Basically what the trap bobber does is it slows the regression rate of the fish. You might notice that some fish are really slippery and elusive. Well, with the trap bobber, if you're having a hard time trying to keep the green bar on the fish because it's jumpy, like legend or catfish or other jumpy fish, you can use the trap bobber if you have the iridium rod and it actually alleviates the regression quite a bit. So what I mean by regression is that you have the meter that you fill up to catch the fish. The rate at which it declines, it slow down tremendously. It goes very, very, very slow. So that allows me personally to be very lazy and efficient and catch tons of fish with very minimal effort. It's awesome. I would highly recommend it if you guys haven't already. And then there's the cork bobber, which is also exceptionally good because it increases the size of your green bar. And if you combine this again with food, your bar becomes massive. So it's really hard to not catch fish. It's basically throwing a basketball in a giant hoop. It's pretty hard to miss. Number three, I mentioned food previously and food's actually super important for fishing. You don't have to use it. However, you can buy fishing trout from Willy, which is typically what I do because I'm too lazy to actually craft the other kinds of fishes, but you can, there's a ton of them, mind you. You can make a lot. The ones that I know that I typically will use if I have to, or it's fishing trout, it's my go-to. It only increases your fishing by one. It's super good and you can buy it from Willy, so the accessibility is pretty good. And then you have Dish of the Sea, which I think is something you can get from the community center by completing one of the fishing bundles, sounds right. That makes your fishing plus three, which is great. That means your bar gets bigger with the higher level your fishing is. Um, and then there's seafoam pudding, which is like plus four. You can actually also increase the level of fishing that it, the foods give you if you use key seasoning with the food. For example, if you combine key seasoning with Dish of the Sea, that turns that plus three fishing into a plus four, which is super great and super handy. Number four. Speaking of making things easier, the Forge actually offers two enchants for your fishing rod. The two fishing rod enchants are called Auto Hook and Master. What Auto Hook does is basically kind of what it sounds, pretty much just auto clicks the fish for you. So when you throw your line and usually you have to sit there and wait for like the exclamation mark to go above your head or whatever it is, it makes the sound you click, it does that part for you. So you don't have to click, which is pretty nice. And the other enchant, which is subjectively better, gives you a free level in fishing. Free level means that you throw your line out farther, your bar is a little bit bigger, and 11 is kind of cool, assuming that you did it from fishing 10 to 11. Number five, fishing zones are basically based off of depth. And what that means is that each water tile in the game has an integer assigned to it from the values of zero to five, I think. I could be wrong. But basically what that means is that if you're catching normals and silverfish, that means that your depth is not deep enough. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna relocate and find a different area to fish in. I actually have four areas in each zone, if you will, that I typically go to where I catch gold and iridium fish. In the river, typically what I'll do is I'll cast my line a little south of Leah's house, a little south and down to the left. It lines up with the, the guy's nose in the grass. Typically I'll catch my fish there and I'll get gold quality and iridium there, assuming I get perfect catches. In the mountains, typically I'll go out on that little island by itself and go south and go all the way down and I'll cast my line straight down and I will catch gold and iridium in that area. In town, typically what I like to do is I go to the bottom left next to the bush and I'll just cast my line straight down. Sometimes I veer it left or right out of boredom, but basically same idea. And then that's the way, the way I catch iridium or goldfish in that area. For the beach, that place is kind of weird, but you can pretty much catch anything as long as you're on the pier. I fish next to the rope, like in the middle, and also at the lonely rock whenever I get bored. Number six. So let's assume for one second you hate fishing. And you know what? That's totally fine. It's a really hard mini game. It's very unforgiving. It's very difficult and it can be really hard to learn. It's very hard for me to explain to people without doing it for them or doing it for myself to describe how to control the green bar. It's pretty much impossible for me to do. So the best I can do is offer tip. But let's assume you don't like fishing. Well, if you buy the training rod in the beginning and you can get yourself to level three fishing, you can actually propel yourself to level 10 without fishing anymore. You invest, get to level three, and you do yourself a favor and buy crab pots. All you have to do with crab pots is you place them in the water, you fill them with fish bait, and then the next day you'll get either garbage or you'll get a cool little creature in the water that you can do whatever you want with. And that gives you experience towards fishing, meaning you don't have to actually fish pretty much at all after level three, which is great. Crab pots are really good if you don't want to fish and you want to level your skill at the same time, neat. Number seven, 
Last but not least, let's talk about fishing skills. The coolest thing about fishing skills in Stardew Valley is that none of them matter for fishing. None of them will help you become a better fisher. They only change the aspects of the game a little bit. Typically, I'll go with fisher and then angler. Only because I mostly challenge run this game and fishing in the early game is a really good way to make money until you unlock the Skull Caverns. Irrelevant, but that's usually what I go with. There's no wrong answers when you pick any of the skills or professions in the fishing tree. All of them are applicable. There is no reason to take any particular one. It's all preference. Some of them do change your gameplay a little bit like Mariner. Trapper is decent if you don't want to fish. Lure Master is actually really nice if, if you don't want to fish but you also want to continue using your crab pots and pirates even cool because you, maybe you want to collect treasure or maybe you're trying to get an iridium ring or something else but basically there's no wrong answer you can pick anything you want that's going to do it for this video but thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it hopefully any of these tips have been helpful i'm always looking for feedback so feel free to leave criticism comments concerns tell me how amazing these tips suggestions have been for you or tell me if i missed something or didn't elaborate but yeah thanks so much for watching appreciate it and that's going to do it